Wishing you a good Friday from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com. Okay, everybody, keep your shirt on. Be patient. Do you really think that Merrick Garland is going to do nothing? Do you really think he's turning a blind eye to all of this? Do you really think he's dragging his feet? No. Merrick Garland's going to throw his fastball. But he's only going to throw his fastball once he has his fastball loaded up, and we're getting close to that. We found out yesterday that Merrick Garland's Department of Justice is officially investigating possible mishandling of classified documents by Donald J. Trump. I said possible. In my opinion, it's probable. Actually, in my opinion, it is certain. They will start with that, but that will just be the first charge. That'll be the engine on the train. They will start there because that's the easiest thing to prove. And if you know anything about the feds, you know this. They only charge you if they're convinced they're going to convict you. And that will just be the start. So keep your shirt on. Okay, so finally, what a relief this is. Judge Jackson is now going to be Justice Jackson. And there is justice in that, but there's shame in the fact that that wound up being a 53-47 vote. There was no reason for anyone to not confirm her or vote to confirm her. But you know what? It turned out okay. So the Russians are no longer going to be in the United Nations Human Rights Council. Yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, I will tell you that I lost a hero last night. Uh, Rayfield Wright was everything I love about football and athletics and the Cowboys of that era. I put a lot of stock in how people's teammates feel about them. And universally, people said that Rayfield Wright was the greatest teammate ever. Among the people who said that, uh, Roger Staubach. So I tend to believe that. Um, this is a great story. Rayfield's first start with the Cowboys was in 1969. They had moved him from tight end to tackle. And he was a former basketball player, by the way. And his first start was in a game against the LA Rams. The Rams were 9-0, and the Cowboys were 8-1, and and his first starting assignment in the NFL was to block Deacon Jones. And earlier that week, a reporter, knowing that Rayfield was going to get the start, is asking Rayfield, aren't, aren't you afraid? I mean, Deacon Jones is big and he's fast. And Rayfield says, I'm big and I'm fast. Now, Cowboys lost that game 24-23, but Rayfield handled Deacon Jones. How do I know that? Because many years later, that was confirmed to me by Deacon Jones. And you know the Deke did not concede anything like that very easily. Rayfield Wright was a wonderful athlete. Beyond that, he was a wonderful, wonderful man. And his career spanned, you know, a, a formative time for me. His first start was when I was 15, and then his last start was in 1979 when I was 24. So it kind of spanned adolescence, a naive adolescence in my case, to naive adulthood in my case. And over that time, my feelings for him just deepened. Rayfield Wright was everything that I love about football. And here's the other thing. There's a reason for this. Rayfield Wright even played well with the blue jersey jinx, okay? Rayfield Wright didn't care, all right? The one thing I learned from him, and it applied not just to athletics but everything else, is do your job. Whatever is going on in your life, do your job your job. And the great thing about Rayfield from the standpoint of a Cowboy fan is if you were really nervous about a big game, the one thing you never had to worry about was whether number 70 was going to do his job. Shake it off. Do your job. We are radically rational.